it's one of my favourite parts of the week because once again I get to rub shoulders and minds with the magician of interior decorating. Oh. His needle is his wand and I'm merely his beautiful assistant. He is, of course, the lovely Richard Randall. Yay! And what, can I say, what an assistant. Oh, oh. Yes, you can. <laughs> is that a paper shirt? It is paper, Ooh, yes. Ooh, see how my hand glosses across you. It's nice, that, isn't I it? I feel it. Look, enough of that. What have you got for us? Well, I've been thinking. You've been given your glam room with your nice fur bed. Mm. It looks fantastic. Are you pleased with that? Oh, I'm loving it. Sarah's got a fantastic caravan. Oh. So they said, I said, I need, I need a location, I need something. Mm. They've given me a mini. Don't knock it. So we are gonna, we're going to do it up, we're going to sort of interiorise it. Because they can be a bit dull inside, uh, can't oh, they? Lisa. So what are you going to do, something with a little bit of poke in it? Something with a little bit of poke in it. And now everybody knows I'm psychic. Yeah. You know, I know. <laughs> I uh, knew you were going to say that. Uh, did I tell you that you're to meet a boyfriend within the next two weeks? Somebody you meet within the next two weeks is going to be your fella for life. Stop it. Honestly, I'm getting the vibes. Are you? Now, another vibe I'm getting, and we'll talk more about that later, <laughs> another vibe I'm getting is the fact that yellow is going to be so big for next summer for interiors. Now, you see, fashion-wise, we were saying that end of last year, beginning of this, but then to catch on, is... does it not take months? Oh, interiors next summer, bright yellow. So what have you gone and done about that? Well, we're going to have a yellow theme for the mini. <laughs> nice and bright, nice Seems and cheery. Seems like a great idea to me. Now, I've been to B&Q, I've been to Woolies. Mm. I've got this shower curtain from Woolies that was five pounds. Oh, I've been to Paradise. <laughs> I'm in Paradise but right I've now. I've never been to me. <laughs> me. <laughs> now um, you bought a shower curtain. A shower curtain Lovely. from Woolies, which was five pounds. Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a, a, a sling for the back of the chair to put your map in, your sandwiches in, your what glasses, and idea. your lipstick. Oh. And what is going to be so fantastic about this? You could actually make it for your shower because obviously not everybody's going to go out and do their mini up. No. I mean I don't know why, but they might. Mm. But if they don't, they, they can do the shower curtain up with this. Put which your sponge in, your comb, your shower gel. Just like that, though. Just just like this. So you get your shower curtain. We've made this smaller to go on the back of the chair. Yeah. And then what we are going to do with another colour shower curtain, this one was from B&Q that was £15. Oh. So a bit more for that, but at least you get the in colour for next year. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, to be trendy, you've got to pay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put pockets on there. Now, you could glue, you could sew, you could wonder web. What are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to very quickly say, because we've got a demo very quickly. So what we're going to do is uh, we are literally going to... How easy is that? This is just a demo. So we're going to have pockets on there. Lovely. We're then going to attach ribbon to the sides. You love ribbon. I adore it's ribbon. It's that chintzy B&B set. You've gone bananas for ribbon. Frills are big. <laughs> I've even got them on my knickers, frills. Have you? Wow. Yeah. We need a few of those to tie around some old oak trees as well. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what's going on in the middle here with this gingham -y thing? In the middle? <laughs> I thought, what better than to use tea towels for curtains? Uh, what better? And again, you could use these in your kitchen. See, affording you a little bit of privacy in the back of the mini. Oh, us some privacy in the back hey. of that mini. Because later we are talking boyfriends. <laughs> so what we're going to do, what I've done with that is put a little bit of a hem, and then with some more ribbon, we're going to thread that through so that they can hang at the back window. Mm -hmm. Do you like the thought of that? Yeah. And then if you didn't think, if you thought that was just about too much, one other thing we're going to do is we're going to make some tie backs out of some cutlery. Now, this idea I like. So these are literally <laughs> going to be our tie backs. That's the sign of a stranger, female. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Just even an old witch I am. So we all need to get rubbing, rubbing. Concentrate now, put your power into your fingertips. Go on, Lisa. Power into your fingertips, into your fingertips, Whoa. into your fingertips. Whoa. Go on, Lisa. Whoa. 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 Unbelievable. Tie back. So they're going to be that's our tie-backs. That's a great idea, though, I isn't it? I think that's fantastic. Look lovely at your kitchen window. And then what? one final thing, car sponge, yellow, so cheap, about 50p that you wash your car with. Yeah. This is going to be our dice. But how are you going to get the numbers on a bit of sponge like uh, We are going to put some Smarties on. Oh, oh you oh, wow. reek of class. God, that's horrible. What do you mean? <laughs> right, let's take a look at this mini de love. Wow. Uh, can, we just look, uh, can we just have a look at this sling here that's oh. at the back here? Comb, glasses, oh. little croissant for later. And a couple of bananas. So you never know when you need them. curtains. Where, where do you fancy going for the weekend? Oh, let's go down to Brighton. To Brighton for yeah. the weekend. Oh, look at those. That's going to be fantastic. Well, <laughs> that's that. While well, we plan to go to Brighton, obviously, thanks very much, Richard. No, thank you. You've made a plain old car into something very, very special indeed. <laughs> now, as you all know, all morning we've been having lots of fun with our snails in need to peel, but, folks, there's a serious side to all of this. So let's remind ourselves what all the silly costumes and fr 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 frivolity have been about. Yes! <laughs> Hi there. You probably know me best as Carol Jackson from EastEnders, but away from Albert Square, I'm also a snail lover. 
People often think of snails as slimy, unlovable creatures. But snails need our care and attention just as much as any other mollusk. Which is why we're appealing to you to open your doors and your hearts to snails that sadly have no one to love them. All you have to do to give a snail a home is, is to ring the number you see on your screen. Remember, a snail in need can be a friend indeed. So pick up the phone and make that call now.